Good morning, boys and girls. Today in Children's Church, we're going to study the last two of the Ten Commandments, the ninth and the tenth. And each week we've been looking at a different commandment or a group of commandments and how God wants us to obey them with our actions and our deeds. But also, Jesus tells us that we're supposed to obey them in our hearts. And that makes it a lot harder, doesn't it? And I know you're going to see a lot of hearts this week. So it is a week that we celebrate love and Valentine's Day. And I want you to think about the Ten Commandments when you see those hearts. And you think, wait a second, the Ten Commandments don't look like a heart. The Ten Commandments we're supposed to obey in our hearts, but they're tablets of stone and they're ten rules that can be really difficult to follow all the time. So the Ten Commandments become a list of rules that are really hard to follow and they're made of stone and they may be difficult for us to understand how we're supposed to obey all of them. And we may wonder, why did God give us so many of these laws if we wouldn't be able to obey them, even if they're great laws? And it tells us in the New Testament that the law does show us that we're guilty. It does exactly that. It's kind of like a report card or maybe like a mirror that we look into and we see what we look like and it shows us our reflection and it shows us that our heart wants to go its own way and that our heart doesn't want to follow God. But if you're a follower of Jesus, Jesus has paid the penalty for all the sins that we have committed against God when we don't follow his law. And he tells us that in Hebrews that God will write his laws on our hearts and that our hearts will be the place that the law is written and that the Holy Spirit will come and dwell within us and make us new so that he will make us able to complete and follow the law. And not that the law goes away, it doesn't go away anymore, but the law becomes something now that is written on our hearts so that we can know that we are to love God, that we are to love others, and that the Holy Spirit can give us the power to follow God. I'll see you guys next week.